Number 20, a car traveling at 53 km per hour hits a bridge abutment. A passenger in the car moves forward a distance of 65 cm with respect to the road while being brought to rest by an inflated airbag. What magnitude of force, assumed constant, acts on the passenger's upper torso, which has a mass of 41 kg? So let's first convert the initial velocity to the international system of units. So 53 kilometers per hour is the same. Just divide it by 3.6, which is 14.7 meters per second. So this is the initial velocity. We know that the acceleration is constant, so we can use this equation over here, V squared equals to VO squared plus two times A delta x to find the acceleration of the person and with the acceleration we can find the force so we have to find a in this equation over here we know that the final velocity is zero so this term goes away so we have that v, uh, minus v o squared is equal to two times a delta x so we know that the acceleration is minus v o squared over two delta x the initial velocity is 14.7, we have to square it, over 2 times delta x is 0 0.65 meters. Remember to convert this to meters. And this gives us minus 167 meters per square second. So this is acceleration. It is negative because it is reducing the velocity of the passenger. Uh, now using Newton's second law, we know that F equals to M times A. So if we want to find F, we just multiply the mass of the body times the acceleration. And this will give us roughly minus 6.8 times 10 to the third newtons. This minus sign here comes because the acceleration is negative, but if you want the, the magnitude of the force, just forget the minus sign. So the magnitude of the force is simply 6.8 times 10 to the third newtons. Don't forget to include the unit in your final answer.